Welcome to the Linebridge Learn from the Leader series. It may seem obvious, but in order to be truly customer-centric, you really need to know what your customers want and need and how those needs are changing over time. In many organisations, that is driven by periodic customer satisfaction surveys where the results come back weeks or months after the time the customer actually in interacted with you. So what other approaches can be taken? How can you speed up the way you can listen and act on the voice of the customer? To help us answer that question, we have Peter Murdy with us for this edition. Peter was the, one of the founding directors and later customer service director for First Direct Bank in the UK. First Direct has the highest customer satisfaction rating of any European bank and receives over 36% of its new customers from referrals and recommendations from its existing customer base. Since his role at First Direct, Peter has played senior roles championing the cause of the customer in organisations such as Telewest, ITV Digital and Go Airlines. Peter, knowing what the customer wants is really important. What approaches have you used to be able to best listen and act on the voice of the customer in organisations you've worked at? I, I mean, basically for me there's, there's two things. It's all about listening to your staff and listening to your customers and trying to devise a programme which really involves both of those equally. Um, so it's not just about customer satisfaction programmes, it's about listening to the people that know more about customer experiences than any of the members of the board of directors and, and that's basically the shop floor guys, people that handle many hundreds of calls every week and know what's going on. So customer focus groups are great, they've got a very important part to play but one of your biggest customer focus groups is actually listening to the staff that work for you and, and finding out what it is their customers are telling them. Um, if I look back at a particular program, I guess um, some few years ago in the cable TV market in the UK, I went into a company um, called Telewest and they were basically um, looking at three or four elements of customer satisfaction which were driven much more by the regulator because the UK is a very regulated market. So they were looking at how quickly you pick up the phone, um, how accurate your bill bills when you send them out um, and what your installation looked like and they were the three things. But when we went out to customers in a new program we actually focused on the life cycle. So we said to the customers, what's important to you? What drives you? What are the things that we do that are really key to uh, how you interact with us? And it's quite interesting that those three issues were there, but they weren't in a priority sense there. So it was all about um, when you dig the road up to install the cable, how you leave the kit. Um, what do you do when the salesman or saleswoman goes to the door, knocks on the door and tries to sell you the product? Um, how important is that kind of relationship? What do you do when you actually come inside my house to install? Where do you put the, uh, the point for the connection? Uh, and then there were all the other th sort of things like what's the quality of the program I receive like? Um, do I get regular communications from you? Is my bill accurate? But they were all um, additional items to that sort of life cycle. So we effectively plotted the life cycle. We then created some uh, measurement points which weren't initially on the traditional rate 1 to 10 or satisfied, highly satisfied, dissatisfied, very dissatisfied. We were much more concerned with um, an infinite level of measure. So we would say um, how important is this particular feature? Is it more important to do a correct installation than it is to have an over pushy salesman at the door? And that way we didn't only just get the um, measure of what was going on in the business but the relativity of all these so we actually found out what was more important and had a kind of a, a weighted hierarchy um, what we then did in Teddy West was try and um, link all this into a quarterly review process so we were a very franchise based operation that operated all around the UK and each of the franchises had a slightly different management structure with a central sort of um, organisation and we actually did large local focus groups and lots of effort was placed on local customer satisfaction scores. Um, and then we linked that into an action plan. So every quarter we give very, very straight feedback in terms of how people were rated. So we had sort of traffic light um, systems um, and we could see every quarter how we progress from one end of the spectrum to the other what the focus should be for that particular management team. But most importantly, we then related it to reward mechanisms. So some of the payments and rewards were related to customer satisfaction, to improve satisfaction behaviours, 
um, and that created action plans that took it back into the business. So effectively, it was a very holistic process. It involved the staff at the front in terms of finding out what it was that customers wanted, which gave us the, the hint in the first place that we were measuring the wrong things, going out to customers, asking them what was important to them, also asking them who they rated in terms of service delivery, not just in the cable TV market, but elsewhere. So it was very important to them that we offered the best possible service that they got from their bank or from their retailer. So it was trying to include elements of that in the process. And then using that to drive the business forward, using it to drive change, um, and involving everybody in that process. So when change took place, everybody knew why, everybody was part of the whole thing, uh, and feeding it back into the business is a constant program all the time. So voice of the customer is really, really key um, to the whole operational business, and you can't be customer-centric unless you ask your customers what's going on. And in my view, you can't ask your customers what's going on unless you involve your own people in that decision process. So really, really key stuff.